So today's episode is all about grabbing the most basic pantry staples and creating one of the most extraordinary dishes ever, folks. We're talking tuna meatballs in a Spanish tomato sauce. This is one of the most delicious dishes ever. It's got so many great flavors. It's super easy to make and it all comes together in just 30 minutes, making it the perfect dish for one of those busy weeknights or even better for a relaxed weekend lunch next to a bottle of Spanish Rioja. Now to make this dish, I'm gonna be using some canned Spanish tuna in olive oil. You can use whatever canned tuna you want. Just make sure it's in olive oil not in water as it makes a huge difference in the flavor here and also use an extra virgin Spanish olive oil. This combined with that Spanish tuna is what gives this dish that incredible Spanish flavor. Get yourself a bottle. The one I'm using, this one's from the Georgetown Olive Oil Company. This is one of my personal favorite Spanish olive oils and it should be yours too because it has such an amazing flavor. Guys, trust me, get a couple bottles. Link in the description box below. If this is your first time here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to be notified when I release new content. To my returning subscribers, welcome back. I'm gonna begin by draining two three ounce cans of Spanish tuna in extra virgin olive oil into a sieve with a bowl underneath. And move the tuna around to remove any of the excess oil. Then I'm gonna transfer the tuna into a large bowl. Shred in one large clove of garlic. Add in about three tablespoons of finely diced onions. Two tablespoons of freshly chopped chives. A generous two tablespoons of plain breadcrumbs. A quarter teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika. Crack in two medium sized organic cage free eggs. And season it with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna mix all these ingredients together until they're well combined. And as everything starts coming together, make sure you compact this together. That way you end up with a thick paste. To shape our tuna meatballs, I'm gonna grab some of the mixture with a spoon and start forming it into a shape of a ball. You want the size of it to be about the size of a golf ball. You just make sure everything's nice and compact. And as you finish each one, transfer it into a dish with some parchment paper. And continue to do this until all your tuna meatballs are done. From this recipe, you should end up with about 10 tuna meatballs. All right, let's start cooking our dish. I'm gonna heat a large frying pan with a medium heat and add in a generous two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the olive oil for two minutes, I'm gonna start adding the tuna meatballs into the pan. And the secret here, don't over mix these tuna meatballs. Just get in there once in a while. That way each one is perfectly cooked all around. After about five minutes, these tuna meatballs look like they are perfectly cooked. I'm gonna start removing them from the pan and transferring them into a dish with some paper towels. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm gonna add in half of an onion that I finely diced and three cloves of garlic that I finely minced. And start mixing these garlics and onions around with that extra virgin olive oil. You do want to mix this continuously. That way nothing burns and everything cooks evenly. After about three minutes and those onions are nice and translucent, I'm going to add in a generous half teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika. Quickly mix this all together until it's well combined. Like I always tell you, you don't want to overcook paprika in a hot pan, otherwise it gets a bitter flavor. Then I'm gonna add in one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce and season it with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna give this a quick mix, that way everything's evenly divided. 
and I'm gonna simmer this tomato sauce between two to three minutes. That way all these flavors can come together. While you're simmering your tomato sauce, if you see that it's thickened up too much, no big deal. You just add in some vegetable broth in there and that will help bring it back to how it was. After about three minutes, I'm gonna add the tuna meatballs back into the pan. And I'm gonna give them a quick mix. That way they're all coated in that beautiful tomato sauce. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat and transfer some of this tomato sauce and tuna meatballs into a serving dish. And for the final touch, I'm gonna sprinkle it with some freshly chopped chives, guys. Our dish is done, seriously. Look at these tuna meatballs with Spanish tomato sauce. This dish looks insanely delicious, so easy to make. The aromas are incredible. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. I seriously cannot wait to try this. Here we go. Absolutely delicious. It's so good. You know what I love about this recipe is that we've got the most basic pantry staples and created such an extraordinary dish. Those tuna meatballs have such an amazing flavor and texture to them. And then you pair it up with that basic tomato sauce, but that extra virgin olive and that sweet smoked Spanish pepper really take it to the next level. Combine these two together, it truly is an explosion of flavors. You guys can eat this like me out of a plate or pour it over some pasta for an incredible dish, guys. So easy to make, made with the most basic ingredients and came together in about 30 minutes. Really quick before I go, a quick shout out to one of my patrons, Joan Kielico. Again, Joan, thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not on Patreon with me, consider becoming a patron. Helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. And if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.